Today I'm going to show you how to look at your volumes reports to define you, both your over excavation quantity and your backfill quantity. So first of all, right now we're in a 3D view and we're looking at the over excavation of this building pad. Okay, if I run a volume report from my over X to my strip surface, I can run that real quick we're gonna get a total cut number that's coming out of that pad, okay? Right away, I wanna send this report to my print page so that I always know exactly how much cut I have coming out of that pad. In addition, this tells me how much cut I have coming out of my topsoil stripping. So this is just my stripping quantity. We're gonna hit this send to print page and we're gonna do a little bit of reformatting, expand that a little bit so that I can read it. And I can see I've got 1,700 yards of cut in that over excavation of that pad, okay? Next, I'm gonna hop back into 3D view. And instead of looking at over X versus stripped, I'm going to look at my subgrade, which will be my final build versus my over X, okay? So in the last video, we walked through how to set this up so that I've got a report region uh, showing me exactly how much fill is going back into that pad and how to add that 25% compaction. So now when I run this volume report, we're comparing again subgrade to over X and it's going to define how much backfill is going back into that pad, just like we just mentioned, with that 25% compaction. So we've got about 2,900 cubic yards of material that we're gonna need to backfill that pad. And then the rest of the site grading. So in, in there, we've got just a couple hundred yards of uh, export dirt. So I'm gonna send that over to my print page as well. Again, let's do a little reformatting so we can actually read those numbers, expand that a little bit. And the last thing I like to send over is the profile view, just to help us all see exactly what we're looking at in these reports. So I've cut a profile through that building pad where I can see all those different surfaces defined and I can send this to my print page I don't need the overlay, I just want that profile. Hit okay. Let's drag that to the bottom and maybe expand it a little bit too, okay? So now what I've got on one sheet of paper, which is kind of the, the magic trick that everybody is looking for, is I've got my over X quantity defined up here in this over X versus stripped report. So I've got 1,700 yards of material that are going from this orange over excavation surface to this light gray just beneath the existing surface. We've got that uh, strip surface. So that's how much, ex how much uh, cut I have in between those two. And then this next report shows me my subgrade versus over X with that compaction factor of 25%. So the next number is I've got about 2,900 yards going from this blue subgrade for my pad to this orange over X surface. So filling in all this area here. In addition, I've got a little bit of site grading, of course, on the job. So I'm now able to look at all these numbers and see, do I have enough dirt on site to backfill my pad? Assuming, of course, that the geotech report is letting me, you know, stockpile this dirt and, and do my backfill with, with material on site, it could define that I needed some select backfill, which of course then I would know how much I needed to order based on this number. But if I can stockpile the dirt on site, I can look at this and say, okay, I've got about 1,700 yards of dirt coming out of that initial uh, excavation or over excavation I should say for the pad. Maybe I can reuse some of this strip topsoil so I can combine those two numbers. And then I've got a little bit from my site grading. So can I combine those to backfill my pad? 
So really handy way to get all of your over X and backfill numbers onto one sheet of paper. Hope that helps and let me know if you have any questions.